Major development in a cold case from 2007. That's when a woman's body was found in the desert near San Diego. Well, last night, police arrested her husband, Anthony Simino, in Honolulu. Ten News reporter Hannah Mullins is live outside San Diego Police Headquarters. Hannah, the district attorney here already talking about an extradition hearing? They are. He's in a Honolulu jail right now, but they want to go after him here in San Diego where they say it all started. A murder mystery that haunted this woman's family for seven years wasn't one investigators could forget. And now they think they have her killer in custody, and it's the very man she married. Investigators from the San Diego and Honolulu Police Departments joined forces to arrest Anthony Simino on this block in Hawaii on Thursday. He filed for divorce from his wife, Fumiko, in 2002, but she got a hefty inheritance. He bought several cars, and they stayed together. Then she vanished from this Point Loma apartment complex in 2007. But he never filed a missing persons report. Neighbors questioned him. A woman he met on JapanCupid.com told police he admitted killing a woman, saying if there is no body, there is no case. Then rotting remains turned up in the Anzabrego desert, but the body was too decomposed to be identified right away. Nearly four years went by before the family learned it was her. And every hoop they made me jump through. All eyes turned to him. This is video from our sister station in Hawaii after he was convicted for shoplifting. But that wasn't the crime reporters were asking about. Please be quiet, okay? You guys don't even have half the story, okay? Investigators were working to get the full story, and his wife's body has been locked up at the medical examiner's office. The man who will handle funeral arrangements said Simino was supposed to sign for her release, but now her family should soon be able to sign off as they inch closer to closure. And this new court document shows he is charged with one count of murder. If he is brought back, he could face a judge right up the street from investigators who would not let this case go unsolved. We're live downtown, Hannah Mullins, 10 News.